one that I've completed research on recently, and I am completely, wholly in love with it. Now, let me just check because I have it on Binance, and I'd like to check if there's any other better. But I think the Binance one will be the best. Yeah, I think Binance, when I looked at it earlier, I think Binance goes back to um, May 2019. I just see. That's okay. That's definitely um. I'd say Binance will have the most data, and that's where it is. Yep. Now I definitely had <laughs> done a previous uh, TA on it. This is three months. So let's just go down to the month, one minute, and get rid of uh, the this. So. I'm going to probably just get rid of, I, I hate when this happens. It's just not really that easy to this recenter this, sorry. Uh, don't remember when was the last time we kind of looked at it. It must have been around this time. So in maybe start of December. Um, and yeah, when we were looking at Bitcoin, how, how unstable it was, uh, you know, coming back down to those levels gonna get rid of this because this isn't what is happening in the minute uh so this is a monthly chart and we see rsi is in around 46 so usually when it comes to rsi it's nice to see it uh, go above this midpoint around 50 52 like it did here you had that level here it it went above it and look you could have sold uh above nine dollars after entering here in around 250 uh so it's it's really nice you know kind of keeping an eye on it especially uh, even like a weekly rsi uh this is a monthly so it will be a little bit uh tougher uh but again could be your um could be your uh strategy as well uh let me check the ema is now on this as well so still, um, actually, this is something I forgot to mention about uh, Bitcoin because there is this big cross happening at the minute. And it is, I think, the 50 EMA and the 15. I know there's uh, some people who use different uh, EMAs and they're crossing and this has never happened in the history of Bitcoin. Um, but if we don't see that cross and Bitcoin shows strength, um, I think a lot of other assets will start flipping their EMAs as well. And Adam is a very, very strong project. Like Milky mentioned, uh, a, a gem. It looks like it could be giving us this, this nice W for the minute. But again, remember, those can get easily invalidated. Now, this is a monthly chart, so it will take a while for it to be totally invalidated. It would have to go above minimum $16 um, to see that invalidation on the monthly and is it like you're trying to maybe Milky is it you're looking for lower entries yeah I'm just looking for optimum entry points um, as I'm going to be accessing the significantly attractive DeFi protocols uh, the DeFi chains that are built on Cosmos um, so, uh, you know, that there's a lot of very, very good sustainable DeFi right now on the Cosmos ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So just looking for an ideal entry point uh, because Atom is the is the reserve asset of the entire ecosystem. Um, looking at the alpha trend, we're above the trend. We're above the green line. Um, what is what I like uh, seeing here is look how we had the red dot red red outline of the green candle because we were above the track line above the trend and then even though we had the red dots it the price went higher and you see there is no red outline on those uh, green candles similar what's happening here and if adam stays within this sort of pattern uh it can continue higher 
I'm going to actually turn this off for a second. Um, because of the strength of the market at the minute, right? If you're not in any long-term trades, I'd be giving it a bit of time before entering. You can, of course, risk now. I mean, look, this is this is an important level around eleven dollars. You can see how it was just this cluster of um, candles here on the weekly. Uh, and then it was uh, support here when it uh, went up, but then it gave us double top. It flipped uh, at the 50 MA was the resistance. Right now, you also see this big, big red ass candle. And if Adam moves, there is a chance it will give that strength and re reclaim all of it. Now, it doesn't mean, and look at this, right? Even if you keep an eye on this price around 1440, 1450 look where the 50 ema is right so let me just even kind of draw it for you here it can easily come up here and retrace back down so it's going to print higher low reject on the 50 and it can go lower obviously creating another channel another um downtrend pattern it's it really kind of you have to ask yourself what are you uh doing are you looking for lower entries for long-term huddle are you uh going to risk now and uh hope this actually does move and pay yourself it's just a sort of a market at the minute that it's it's not too late to get into assets but if you're entering right now and you see price move up don't let the greed take over and you don't think for a second that this is it we've bottomed we're definitely going back to the moon along the way if you're buying now and we move up higher pay yourself get that uh initial out see we're kind of hitting important resistances and if those get flipped we can go higher like i said look this is uh this will be an interesting and important uh resistance and if, if you draw that line around that 1450 you'll go to the left and you'll see that there were the rejection points here as well you had this um it, it was clearly important between 14 to 15 dollars was important lever because you can see here how they were rejected rejection points here and then it was actually a support here it will all depend how healthy the market is it can obviously be a lovely w we flip here and we could easily uh instead of going down we could sorry i think my tool is gone we could do this and continue up no panic I mean, this is certainly one thing I also want to re repeat. Don't panic. If you're not in and you see prices going up higher, you're going to get your chance. Either on confirmation of reversal or when we actually uh, reject and go lower. These are two scenarios. And to be honest, Milky, like I, I'd be sticking still to uh, whatever levels I have here, and they're they're pretty round numbers. Um, seems to me like um, Adam liked round numbers: um, ten dollars, eleven dollars, eight fifty, nine. So I suppose every fifty cents you can see here: seven fifty, six fifty, six dollars another important lever here five dollars so it's it's not very complicated to kind of keep an eye on it so you could really ladder in those buys um you know if we do reject and look for lower uh this has already been reclaimed i mean realistically it's just a very very wild guess for me right now to say oh yeah we're going to see for four dollar four dollars or five dollars back again for adam it really depends how strong the market is and where we're going from here so if you want to get into adam either 
wait for that flip. It might do this little uh, uh, support. We'll, we'll catch that support again. Keep an eye again, this uh, just to kind of reiterate, but begin about $14 because of the 50 AMA. And what is it going to be looking at, uh, in, in general in the market? What What is market doing? Because this is a daily or sorry, weekly chart. So it's not going to be immediate when we see, see this. And even just going on the daily. Um, so this kind of goes yeah to around look where that red vector candle candle is it's it's where i kind of doodle those lines um reclaim back very possible i mean um we're all waiting for for thursday i think because of the cpi numbers um it's actually crazy how the only thing that's actually right now ruling the market are those numbers there's nothing else really happening in the world we're all just tunnel vision right now to see how uh the economy is doing and small little thing like unemployment uh rate <laughs> that is going to determine and the rate, rate hikes uh what is the government uh, what is the u.s government going to do next um I mean, I'm not an economist. I was talking about it yesterday during um, live. I simply look at trades as level to level as numbers uh, and PLs. What is the economy going to look like in in future this year? Very hard guess. I mean, I don't know, Melky. Unless you have any insights and opinions about what is going to happen next. Um, no, I mean, I, I think that, you know, the pump that we've seen over the last day or so, I think that's pricing in better than expected figures. Mm -hmm. So even when the CPI does come out, if it is better than expected, I don't think there's going to be a lot of movement because of it. Um, however, I think if the numbers are not as good as people seem to be anticipating at the moment, then it could result in, um, you know, a, a drop in the market again. Uh, but uh, yeah, I suppose we're just going to have to wait and see. Yeah, and I think as well, uh, if we do see numbers that are positive in a way, that means we might see this moment of relief, uh, maybe not immediate, but th there won't be, uh, unless any, unless we, we see another black swan or some other bad news that will come out, um, we have a chance to flip those levels and get higher and see a little relief but just just wait guys i mean like i said no no i uh, need to rush uh and panic around at all uh it's great to see we we've had those movements great to see people were making money uh great to see people ca uh, caught those um pumps um uh, but yeah honestly pay yourself Pay yourself. This is what it's about. Uh, we had someone on live yesterday and they were up 200% and they were wondering, should they close their position? I mean, what do you think? Me personally, I think, you know, if, if you're looking for those short trades, if you're up 100%, I'd take it. Um, and then wait to see what happens before you decide what to do next. Nobody ever went broke when, uh, without, if they didn't, nobody went broke after paying themselves. And that's mm -hmm. as that. Take back the initial, rotate that money. Whatever else happens to what you earned, um, it's, it's, you know, it's free money then. Yeah.